But you never had a low speed Ay. And I've been feeling cold Thinking about the old me Yeah You don't wanna talk about it Back to a new video. Today we're. Dude, you can't do that. That's my line, bro. Give me that camera. Get, get over it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And don't mind that guy, this imposter, dude. You can't, you can't just go stealing my lines in the vlog like that, bro. That's my line. We'll work on it though. We'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. So, welcome back to a super, a super, a super. I can't, can't talk right now. Welcome back to a super echoey garage. We got some awesome stuff in store for you guys today. As you saw, we were opening things up with that wash sequence, and my lawn's about to get cut. It definitely needs it really bad. Speaking of getting cut, I'm actually selling my lawnmower. I decided to no longer cut grass because my allergies are so bad and I kind of have a problem with breathing when I cut my lawn. So I'm just gonna leave that to the professionals and then that way I can kind of keep my sanity. But anyway, guys, random fact in the morning. The plan of the day is we're gonna head on over to Diesel Works to hopefully get a first start on eight ball. We got a lot of installation stuff to happen today. We're gonna be throwing the manifold on. We're gonna talk about the fuel setup. We're gonna talk about the turbos, open all the turbos up and hopefully get them all installed. Since the last video of eight ball, Tyler has been actively working on getting that head installed. So we're gonna get you guys some updates there and potentially a first startup at the end of this video. Now. If you guys didn't see that opening segment, first of all, man, that cinematic though was amazing. Second of all, five times entries are live for the last week of Dream Diesel giveaway number nine. So if you haven't gotten your entries yet, guys, well, time's a ticket. Meanwhile. What? He's so manly with a little dog. What is going on over here? Oh, guys, it's getting weird. We gotta go. Nah, dude. Dealer. Excuse me, sir. That's what you get for trying to steal my intro, dude. Oh, it's all. Uh... <laughs> Just give me a sign if you wanna go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Diesel Works. And real quick, I just had to address something. So a lot of you guys had questioned why I put this valve right here up under the truck and you brought to my attention that it probably isn't designed for the exterior. Well, we did drive it through a few rainstorms and it seems to work okay. Now, if it fails, then I'm going to actually end up going with the Air Ride Remote Control Kit. Why can't I talk, bro? I am gonna end up going with the Air Ride remote control module, which will be really nice because we can step back and we can actually inflate the bags, put them to our desired pressure in the bags and call it good from a distance. That's kind of why I decided to mount this here. A, just to see if it'll work for, well, a long period of time because I'm kind of wondering if it will and B, because I wanted it in the back. I don't know if you guys blame me on this, but I couldn't drill holes in the inside of this brand new truck. And as an added bonus, now this thing sits level from front to back, which is even better. Now I'm also thinking being that the wheels are off of this thing that maybe we're gonna to go ahead and change it up while they're off. The 24 by 14 served a really nice purpose with the 3314 Furies, but I've kind of been inching for a change. I guess more to come on that a little later. So here we are back at Diesel Works. Today is a super exciting day where the eight ball is probably going to get complete. But before we walk in here, look at this F350 Ranger, man. What, you, what even is this thing? It looks like it's got some Alcoa wheels on it. It's got a dump out on the back, stacks on either side, which I would say are actually very fitting for this thing, but it looks like it is in phenomenal condition. I wouldn't say that that's a Bluetooth drive shaft, more like a bumper drive shaft. Sure, but super mint condition. The body lines in this thing are phenomenal. I wonder what they're working on today. Check that thing out. That thing's sick. Definitely not something you see every day. As somebody that like really appreciates the OBS body style, I would say that this thing is grade A in my book. So a quick little update for you guys. You can see here, Tyler, good morning. Good morning. He's just been buried in the engine bay of eight ball for like, I can't even tell you how many days now. It's almost been like a week straight cumulative of kind of starting and stopping on this project, obviously waiting for all the parts to come in and everything like that. But without stating the obvious, you guys can see that we do have the DNJ head fully put back on the truck. We do have some fuel lines ran to our brandy spanking new Exergy 12 millimeter CP3 and the new injectors. Did you say you got them installed? Yeah, they're in. 
Dude, nicely done, nicely done. Leave me hanging, it's all good. But now we're there. And it looks so clean. It almost makes me sad that that's gonna get all dirty, dude. So we've got the 250 over Exergy injectors installed. We've got the 12 millimeter pump and shout out to Exergy for coming through big time on providing the fuel for this build. Of course, that's gonna be completely essential for spooling the compound turbos that will be going on potentially later today. Obviously stuff like this takes time. The whole motor bay was completely pulled apart. So we do wanna make sure that we're kind of taking our time in the reassembly process. So that way no steps are missed or anything like that. But you can see that we do have some of the components out here laying on the ground, basically getting prepped, ready to rock and roll. I am super excited to kind of see how this makes a massive change in spooling those two S400s that we will be putting on this truck later today. Now, speaking of parts, there's actually, I think a bunch of stuff still in the truck. Uh, actually, it looks like a lot of it's in the back here. What we're gonna do right now is probably work on getting some of this stuff out just so we can kind of go over the kit again real quick for you guys before it all gets thrown on into the truck here. This maroon is going to look so sick in the engine bay. I cannot wait to see it. Oh my God, dude, that is a beautiful thing. Now, a few other things that I wanna touch on real quick is we also installed a fleece coolant bypass kit so that way front of the head and the back of the head are getting the same temperature cooling. That was definitely a must do and then you guys can also see that we did delete out the in bay fuel filter and replace it with that sweet little uh, fleece relocation bracket right there that is nice it's just kind of one of those little easter eggs here in the engine bay so over here we got basically all of our exhausting components we are doing a steed speed second gen manifold on this thing we've got our bridge we've got our downpipe extensions that are going to come off of the atmospheric turbo we've got some of our assorted lines fittings valves bolts all that good stuff here this is our intake sides and the chargers and everything like that are here in the back of the truck boom so there's our s460 7.7 that one's going to be on the manifold dude how's that feel just like so much america going on right here so as per our thoughts it looks like we are going to end up actually taking this battery out because we need to make room for those chargers yeah, I didn't even notice that, man. That looks so much cleaner. Man, look at how much room is over here now without that second battery. That's crazy. Yo, I got a great spot for that, dude. It's right here. Special. All right, guys, so getting you a quick little update here. We've got the steed speed mounted up. Everything's bolted and torqued down. Looks absolutely sick. The cool thing about the steed speed is depending on your turbo setup, you can actually have it facing up or facing down. In this application, and just like Dream Diesel giveaway number three, which was Papa Smurf, we have it facing up. On Papa Smurf, we had an S464. Here, we'll rest the S467. And then the bridge will connect the S480 to here. And then, of course, the compounding intake on this side and then right off the s480 will be the filter there will be no connected associated piping just due to the lack of space now speaking of the bridge tyler's been working graciously over here getting everything ready to rock and roll with some heat wrap kind of a pain in the butt because not only does it get you wet but it is fiberglass so it can get a little itchy if you get any of it on you but dude this came out phenomenal looks yeah. super good brother man so this is the bridge that connects the s464's exhaust side to the hot side of the s480 allowing that compound effect to take place with the exhaust gases and then of course we have our intake compound pipe that goes from the 480 to the s464 so we're making absolutely phenomenal progress i am so excited to see these turbos sitting in here very very shortly now guys unfortunately i do have a little bit of bad news it's not terrible news but it doesn't look like the first startup is going to happen in this video only because i was kind of fickle-minded in the fact that i forgot that we did not install the lift pump back on this thing when we swapped the bed over if you guys recall we did a quick little swap the bed is actually not even bolted down right now it's kind of just sitting here and without that fast we're not going to get any fuel to the motor so doesn't look like that first startup is going to happen today but we do know that it is probably going to be in the next video enough of the negative news i think we're getting close to installing these turbos master documenting this work all right guys so remember earlier on in this vlog i said that i was considering changing up the wheels for the 2020 well i just placed an order for some new wheels it's probably going to be like three to six weeks before they arrive but change it up a little bit this time on you guys but to something that's kind of familiar i'm gonna leave it there for now i can't wait to get you guys updates on that and then speaking of changing it up we have to go get food but we're not allowed to go in to get food anywhere so it looks like we're gonna have a date in our truck bro oh it's so romantic it looks like take out at isaac's 
is the move. Guys, really sorry that we didn't get you any food that time around, but next time, I promise. So we're back at the shop now. We're all fed up and we're energized and well, we're working on outfitting turbos with fittings. As you guys can see, we basically have to get a lot of that stuff here, oil drain lines, oil feed lines, and all the other goodies. Don't mind the oxidation that's occurring on the hot side of this turbo. I guess there was just a little bit of moisture in the box when I took it out originally and put it back in. You can see how quickly that cast iron just kind of uh, rusts away, unfortunately. But I do have a small little secret that is going to at least cover that little area up. Uh, those parts are not with us quite yet, but they will be in the finished product. Believe me, I know that would drive me absolutely insane. I don't know about all of you guys. This powder coat turned out so sick. The flake in that red is wild. The guys at Whirly Fab were saying this is actually their most popular color that they offer. I mean, just look at the depth in that color. It's gonna look so sick in the engine bay. All right, guys, we're about to jump into the part you've all been waiting for. Let's get this kit in there. Guys, let's all just take a minute to appreciate something over here. How do I look, little? We're having twins, boys. I'm so excited to announce this. And they're, they're beautiful. They're just so beautiful. S480, S467, Illusion Cherry, almost a thousand horsepower in the making. It's gonna be awesome. Crazy progress is being made. Here is a quick little glimpse of kind of what the finished product is gonna look like. We're missing still a lot of piping that kind of connects the two turbos. Obviously the piping that connects to the intercooler and everything like that, but uh, what do you guys think? If you like what you see right here, drop a massive like on this video and drop a comment below. I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are on this color combination. Never done anything red, but I am falling in love with this thing big time. Those chargers look absolutely insane in this motor bay. Basically right now, we're just trying to kind of take some precaution on what we can do to get this filter to fit. So like I had mentioned, we actually relocated the condensing unit here behind the actual front mount intercooler. So that way when the hood is down, we'll actually be able to see just the front mount. But we ran into an issue where basically the service port for the AC line was kind of like right in this area and we weren't able to put the filter on. So Tyler's actually working on a solution where we're gonna take the line run it up and through under this area here and basically put the service port right in this kind of general vicinity so we can still tap into the condensing unit but have everything kind of out of the way and that way we make adequate room for the filter and these big old compounds. So over here in the box, we still have our intake components. We have our bridge between the compressor sides of the turbo. We have, of course, our intercooler piping for the passenger side off the turbos and then intercooler piping here for the driver side as well. I don't think we're gonna get to that stuff today. Unfortunately, we are just not at the point where we can do that. We still need to kind of fab up some of the oil lines to get all that stuff squared away. But in the next video, we will definitely continue working on all the final assembly of the kit. I know you guys are super excited about it, and believe me, I am too. All these black clamps are gonna look absolutely sick in there, and it's really just gonna come together perfectly. Plus, it was an opportunity for us to grab a new fan clutch, because if you guys can remember, the one uh, when we were taking the thing apart was actually cut. So now we have an opportunity to get that thing back up in store as well. Yeah, That's mint, man. That looks super clean. So what Tyler's doing right now, guys, just so you kind of have an understanding is he's actually fabbing up what will be the measurements for the final line. This is new to my knowledge, so I figured I'd pass along with you guys. You can't just go ahead, kind of throw together some hoses and some hose clamps, rather. It's kind of mocking up like a prototype. And then we're gonna give this off to a hydraulics company out of Mannheim, Pennsylvania. They're gonna actually fab up a full aluminum line that'll be able to kind of click right in the place to keep that AC nice, cool, and flowing on those hot summer days. Yo, brother, as always, great work, dude. Yep. We will see you tomorrow in the continuation of this build. All right, boys and girls, well, that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. But before we leave, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more information on this here big old Ford. Surprised by the fact that it has a Cummins motor in it? Anybody shocked by this? I'm not really all that surprised. Man, this thing is so sweet. I like it a lot. I can't tell what it is because this thing is so massive. I'm having a hard time even seeing it. Maybe that's because I'm short. I don't really know. It could be one of the two, but that's pretty badass. And then uh, on the inside too, Sean had actually said that we should check this thing out. He wanted all you guys to see it. It's got a fully digital dash. We're gonna climb up in here real quick. This is all aftermarket. Dude, that's pretty sweet. Dude, it's already digital and I envisioned digital. And then he Me too, I walked, clean. I got in here and I'm like, wait, that's not digital, but yeah, still it's super clean compared to, I guess what would have come in this truck. Yeah, it was Original all- Original gauges, <laughs> fabbed up here. He's got a CB radio. Man, I mean, you feel like you're in a massive truck in this thing. It's yeah, fire. Fired up, dude. Here we go, boys. It's got some big old stacks on this thing. My goodness. 
So guys, what do you think? Is this something that you'd want to drive around in? A big old Ford with Alcoas and a Cummins up under the engine. I mean, I think it's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. And then also, I got some additional information on why the drive shaft is here, even with the CVs on it still. And that is because his bumper height was too high to pass inspection. So he added this to say that that was his bumper. I mean, sometimes I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. It's definitely something that you don't see every day. Dang boys, 2020's getting old. I think on this trip, we might cross uh, 10,000 miles. Well boys, looks like it's either time to sell it or uh, give it away. All right guys, we are back at the house. Man, it has been an eventful day where we got a lot of stuff done over there at Diesel Works. And I do have to just give them a huge shout out again for always being so open door with all of us here. You know, it's all about the relationships in life, guys. I preach that a lot, but it's just a reinforcing factor that a lot of my YouTube channel is built around relationships and deep, meaningful relationships in life gets you so far. Lime Ridge, Diesel Works, Sean at Peach Bottom, just to name a few, E-Town Auto Works, all of those service providers Providers, help out to contribute to this content and really make it all possible. And I really just kind of shoot that out there as something that is very important in life. And if you guys want to accomplish things, put relationships at the forefront of what you do. I try to kind of take that exact same principle and apply it to all of you. And although I'm talking to you guys through a camera, I feel like I've been able to connect with so many of you through this awesome platform of YouTube to really maintain that relationship with all of you. Anyway, I'm sorry for the little rant. It was just this little, little side note in thanks to Dieselworks again for always not only allowing us to get in there and frolic and film, but also for the great work that they do. And Tyler, dude, you're absolutely crushing it on doing everything that you can to make this a completely one-off kit. Now, mind you guys, that S400, S400 kit is the only one in the entire world. How awesome is that? Generally, it's the S400 over the S300 or an S400 over stock. So just a small little Easter egg for you guys at the end of the video. So according to my wife, I gotta get out and work out more. So we're about to go run about three miles. So uh, wish me luck. So that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Again, one week left in Dream Diesel giveaway number nine as of when this video went live and five times entries for those of you that haven't entered yet. All it is, is it takes one entry for you to take home that Denali and $10,000 cash. So just kind of sit on that for a little while and think about how awesome it would be to have that black Denali sitting right in your driveway with that cash in your pocket. So that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. My Like League, I love you guys, do what you do best. Tap that subscribe button if you're excited about a 1,000 horsepower compound turbo Cummins coming to the channel here shortly. And I'll see y'all in the next upload.